All right, everyone, welcome back. We have a bullish hopium caspa update here. So someone somewhere mentioned in a comment somewhere that we were in a cup and handle pattern, which I really didn't see because I tend not to pay attention to the patterns because a lot of times they do not play out. But uh, just to give you guys some hopium for caspa, we have been pointing this out recently from this high here to the low. The reason these candles are getting stuck here. Uh, they're smacking right into this 786 at 517 here. So let's get that off of the chart. And you can see if this is going to be a bullish cup and handle here. It looks like the moment that Caspa here breaks over that uh, 786 over the top of this cup here. That is going to be the point to where she's going to get really bullish here and start moving and probably end up breaking the high. So just a rough um, measured move here off of that cup and handle. You can see once we break out of that 517 area, that does take us right up to our red line we've had on the chart here for a while at 57. So that could be the case that uh, Caspa is about to break the high as soon as it breaks over that 786 at 517. So that's the price I'm going to watch here. Uh, as soon as we break over the, this high here, there's a chance that we're going to make a new high. Uh, but it is a pattern. Like I said before, they do not always work out. Uh, if it is going to work out, so be it. We're going to keep moving up here. Uh, and we also have in play the bearish um, market structure here off of this lower high. So that could also be the case. But now that we do have that cup and handle pattern here uh, and we're holding up support. So from the low to the high to the three two, over this, we came down. We held support at the 21 day EMA, 21 day EMA here. We're back over the 4847 level here. And, it, you know, it's just bullish all around. There's really not much I can say. Um, so if this pattern is going to play out, watch 517 here. A break over 517 is probably going to shoot us right through 54. And then right up to that 57 area. So from where we are right now, if that pattern is going to play out, we're looking to move up to the high, about a 10% move, and then a 16% move up to that 57 area for a new high here. So we'll see how it plays out. Just wanted to do a quick Caspa update, give you guys a little bit of bullish hopium uh, that could potentially play out here. And it could go either way, in my opinion. You know, if we're going to be bearish and we are going to drop down to these lower uh, retracement levels here, so be it. I will take that all day, every day to get it at these lower prices. And of course, if we're going to be bullish out of this pattern, so be that too. You know, I'll take the higher prices here. Uh, I'm ready for Casper to grind its way up and go to the moon next bull run. And I know a lot of you guys are too. So uh, every little pullback we get, we're going to try to cover here on the channel. So we can always DCA a little bit more in at any little pullback we can get on Casper here. So we'll leave it at that on Casper. Good luck, everyone. Not financial advice. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out.